Hello YouTube! What's going on? Justin here, and uh, I have a box. It smells pretty good. I can smell stuff in here already. I hear tins rattling around. This is part of the Jaime Oliva po box pass. Um, I got my um, my package from uh, Siblo Dave came in today. This is Wednesday, so awesome. Um, figure I'd do my video a little bit differently. Um, don't know how it's gonna work out, but we'll see. Um, first time opening here on this uh, box, and I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to. Obviously, get another box once I open this. But uh, let's get right into it, cause I know what's in here, and I'm excited. Like I ain't even lying. I'm so very excited for this. I've been waiting for this since I saw Dave's video. By the way, Dave, good, good, good video, buddy. <laughs> so that's uh, pretty much what it looks like, and. Uh, I'll start pulling stuff out here one at a time. We get a small box here. It says uh, cigars. And uh, we'll see what's in here. Someone put a uh, cigar cutter in here. Uh, this is from the Monte Cristo set that uh, Wiz D had posted about uh, back a couple months ago. Um, I got my own, so I'm going to keep this in the case for you. And. Uh, there's uh, five cigars in here currently, and um, I may be adding to this. Um, these are wrapped, so I can show you what those are, but the one is not, so I don't want to touch it. Um, but it's a uh, Colo uh, Grand Colombia Nicaragua, 1997, it says. You can't see it, but... Anyway, uh, we got a big fatty here, uh, five Vegas, five Vegas, it's nice, um, Enel Corojo, I hope I said that right, that's uh, HC, uh, Connecticut Shade Wrapper, um, it's a nice looking cigar, nice and light, this is a uh, punch. I've had one of these before. They're very good. This is an Aurora. Um, this is 14.95 series. I believe this length would be a Maduro. I'm not sure, but um, looks a little bit dark for me. Um, smells really good. Um, I'll probably keep that in there for somebody else as well. Um, but one that I did want to try was this Vegas. Um, I'm gonna wind up taking that out of there. Um, I've got a cigar, to, a cigar or two to put in to put in this box, and if I was more prepared, I would have all that set up and ready to go. But uh, I will, I will um, put cigar in there just because I took one. So there's a box note here. Here we go. All right. So, it looks like, it looks like the next person on the list would be Lead Crayon, Russ Woodman. I kind of just put your name all out there like a moron, sorry Russ. But, um, yeah, looks like uh, it's going to go to Lead Crayon next, so Russ, I'll send this out in a couple of days. Um, yeah, I can't um, do anything. I can't smoke anything right this very minute. So, so this says, "Hello, my fellow pipe smokers. It's your boy Jaime Oliva Jr. So here are, are my requests for this floating box of goodies. Please be thoughtful of others when taking from this box. If you would like to add to this floating box of goodies, feel free to do so. Also, I ask, please not hold the box for more than three days." 
Please contact the next person to receive this box with a tracking number after shipping the floating box of goodies. If more people request to have this box sent to them, I will contact you with a name and address for more destinations. If it has no more destinations, contact me so I can send it so I can get it back. Please do a video of the box opening. Thanks for your participation and honesty. And then the signature Jaime piece. And then uh, handwritten it says, please do not keep the snuff, only sample. And that's fine. I intend to sample. I'll add some snuff of my own that I'll uh, put in the box. Um, the snuff that I add, uh, anybody can have. So we're going to do it that way. Um, if you want to take the snuff, be my guest. Uh, let's see. So we got some... Kamoy's um, tobaccos. Got cask number nine, cask number two. Oh, spiced Virginia, Portwood, Double English, British Strength, Bullet Rye Select. Um, I've never had any of these. Um, they're all a little bit light. I may just uh, smell and you know, pick one and, uh, you know, give it a shot, see, see what it tastes like. We've got, I was, ex I'm excited that this is still here. We got Caramel Apple from Hearth and Home. It's actually good enough to take, you know, a small sample out of. And that actually smells really good, so it's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got in this box. Uh, Sutliff Spinnaker. It's very nice. And there's a lot of this in here. And that actually smells really, really good. Burley and Black Cavendish is right up my alley. A mixture of sweet and tart. Wow. I will definitely be taking a sample of that. Um. Okay, so here's one of the snuffs. Fubar Snafu Medicated. This says, good luck opening. So, we'll give that a shot later on. Um, that's not the snuff that I'm interested in trying on camera. Um, although I'm going to try it on camera. Look at this. This is all tobacco that I think we've all added to. This is, this is ridiculous, guys. That's unreal. Um, just real quick, I'm just gonna flow through them. Um, got a uh, black truffle. It looks like uh, Peter Stuckaby. You got Boswell's Maple Leaf. You got Roof Piper 44 Mystery Blend. Burns hot, so smoke it slow. Somebody put some Hobbit's weed in here. It's awesome. I have a little bit of my own, so I'm not going to take that. Hearth and Home Anniversary Cake. Smells pretty good um, from what I remember. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I may indulge in some of that. Uh, let's see. We've got from Millen down in Virginia. Uh, Poochie's Blend, it looks like. Um, Uptown's Honey Mead, I think that's what that says. Some more Boswell's Bear Blend, and I think Kevin Poe is the one who said that this needs to be tried. Scotty's Butternut Burley. I want to give that a shot. I've been hearing good things about that. We've got a little bit of Sutliff Taste of Summer. Um, I do have um, a small sample that I got from Briar Boy, so I'm not even going to try that one because I already have it. So Peter Stuckaby's B and B. A little bit in there. This is some black gold plus. It's definitely plus something, so. Smells really good. You know, again, it has that, um, it has that, um, smoky campfire smell to it. And this says blend full of random shit. Very probably similar to the um, PSNJ 
mystery blend that we kind of stuck together at the end of our meetup. It actually don't, it doesn't smell like much. Um, very light. Not a very distinct aroma at all. And this is Zombie Blend from Jaime. This is, uh, Jaime, you sent me some of this. I tried it. It was good. So, but I'm going to leave that in there for somebody else. Um, okay, let's see. This is the one package that I personally have been waiting for greatly. And this package is the Fuba uh, Frankensnuff that was given by, I think the diabetic man made this. And uh, uh, apparently it's real strong and real powerful and Wow, um, you can see it's uh, ground kind of fine. Um, the moisture content in this, it's pretty good. And like everyone else, I'm going to have to do this on camera because I said I would. But can't find my here we go bing okay so here's a decent size that's a little bit hmm, a little bit bigger than I would like to I think there we go a little bit bigger than normal. I want to make sure I get a good, clean bump of this. Um, I'm going to box card, I guess. Oh. Got some snuff in there. I mean. Oh. Ah. bit too far back. Uh. Oh, my eyes are watering. Um, there's definitely menthol in that. Um, uh, uh, uh. Wow. All in all, that's a good stuff. I like it. Um, <coughs> it hit the back of my throat. Uh, uh. I've been doing this uh, this spearmint from Silver Dollar. It's nothing like this, man. This is. This is hardcore. Uh, I'm gonna put a new piece of tape on this for you guys, uh, who, whoever's getting it next. But, uh, uh, wow. Uh, I'm gonna do that again. Maybe a little bit less next time, but I wanted to make sure I got the full effect of what was going on with that snuff. And uh, boy, let me tell you what I did. I really did. Um, man. Uh, that clears you out, man. A little bit of nose burn clears you out. Definitely, definitely, definitely medicated something in there um that's a good uh i actually like that that's a, that's a good blend that's kind of like middle of the day 
middle of the day you start kind of going to sleep and you need to wake up a little bit, boy, that'll wake you up. I'll tell you what, right before bed or so, you do some of this spearmint, nice mellow. Wake up in the morning, you take one of these like honest seeding eucalyptus or something like that. And uh, it, really, it really awakens the senses. Um, I do know that I will be adding some of this chocolate cream. I got, a, no, I'm not, not all this, but I will be adding some chocolate cream tobacco to the package. Um, I will be adding I should have been more prepared for this, but uh, a 10 gram uh, toke, or maybe two of them, um, I will add um, the toke espresso. I did a review on it, but you guys could try it yourself. And, uh, and I will be adding the toke whiskey and honey and uh, like I said a cigar or two I'm gonna put a cigar or two in there from my stash uh, also I may add another um, another uh, another blend um, I think what I'll do is I'll put uh, some Moon Trance in there for you guys. Uh, it's a nice, nice arrow. Chocolate cream, Moon Trance, whiskey honey, espresso, those two snuffs. About half of each one of those in its own separate bag. Um, and and a cigar. I'll, I'll add another cigar because I took one. I took this, this Five Vegas. Um, nice big fat. A um, little bit darker than I usually smoke, but sometimes a nice, fat, dark cigar like this is just what you need. So um, I will, I will definitely add another cigar. Yeah, that smells perfect. It smells perfect right up my alley. So, um, like I said, normally I smoke uh, lighter cigars, but I am absolutely gonna. Put in a cigar, two snuffs, and two pipe tobaccos, and uh, yeah. So that was definitely uh, more than I bargained for with with the Franken snuff. Um, just now starting to go away, so that's cool. Um, hi, man. Awesome for the box pass. Lead crayon. It's coming into you to you next. And uh try the snuff. You need to try the snuff. Alright guys, I'm gonna get this box all situated for for Russ and I'll ship it out in the next uh Friday or Saturday I'll ship it out. That's what I'll do. And um yeah. Thank you everyone for being a part of this pass and thank you Jaime for having the pass. It's awesome. This is, you know, one of the reasons why I enjoy being part of this community and, you know, everyone is 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 really awesome and anyone everyone that I've met has been pretty cool. So, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. Everyone who gets this box after me, enjoy whatever's in it. And by all means, if you want to take uh, either the snuffs that I put in there, go ahead. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. I'm out. I'll talk to you later.